Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to list the backordered product on Amazon Seller Central. Most products on Amazon can be listed as backordered. This means that the seller will accept orders for it even though the product is not yet fulfillable and will only be shipped at a later date. In general, it's obviously best practice to have available stock of the item you're trying to sell. This is not just so you'll be able to make sales and increase your bottom line, but because Amazon views the seller with consistent sales and a strong stock history favorably. However, Amazon recognizes that it is not always possible to have available stock all the time, and back ordering the item allows sellers some grace, enabling them to take orders without actually having the item in stock. Customers see that the item is unavailable for shipping until the stated restock date. They can then decide if they still want to place the order or not. If they do, then they are aware that they won't receive the item for a while. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Log into your Amazon Seller Central account. On the main dashboard, hover your mouse to the inventory tab, then select add a product on the drop down. Under the list many products via bulk upload section, click the download and inventory file link. Amazon will then take you to add products via upload. We need to create an inventory file this need to download the file template for your products category. Under the product classifier, look for the product's classification then click the select button for Amazon to ready your template. On the next step, select advanced mode, then click the generate a template button on the right. After you have downloaded your product template, locate it and open the file. Fill out the required columns. There are three columns that needs to be changed for you to list the back ordered product. First is the update delete column. Since we're just updating a product, change this to partial update. Second is the quantity column. You need to place the quantity and how many items are going to be available. The third is the restock date. Fill in the restock date. It needs to be no later than 30 days. If your restock date is more than 30 days, then your product can't be listed. Make sure to double check all the items and make sure that all of the required columns are filled out. Save your file, then close it. Go back to your products via upload page and click the Check and Upload Your Inventory File tab. We need to check our file first. On the first step, we can upload our file and Amazon will check it if it's valid or not. It won't add any products on your catalog yet. Select the standard book loader for the file type, then click Browse and select your file. It is optional for you to prompt on an email alert, but it is advisable. Click the Check My File button so that Amazon can start the test. Click the Monitor Upload Status tab on top so we can view the status. Since we only have one product, it will only show one. It will reflect the total products that you have uploaded. Since there is one record processed successfully and we don't have any records with warning or records with errors, then our file is ready for upload. Go back to the Check and Upload Your Inventory File tab, then upload your file on the Step 2 area. Many sellers have voiced complaints about the whole back order process. 
they say that even if technically you can list an item as you back order, Amazon does not view it favorably and will penalize you. This is because at the end of the day, even though the customer is willing to wait, the order will still be shipped late. And late shipping is a big no-no for Amazon. So, back orders should be used wisely. It is most certainly not a way to guarantee sales that would have been lost had you canceled the order. And if you decide to back order, make sure you manage it efficiently. If there's no clear date as to when the stock will arrive, and if the estimated ship or delivery dates are not being correctly updated, it will result in a poor customer experience, which, as you know, goes against the grain of Amazon's whole existence. And that, ladies and gents, are the steps on how to list a backordered product on Amazon Seller Central. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!